right, people ask about my gear that, that, that I bring with me when I'm fishing. Um, one thing I started taking is this fish field creel. It's it's a plastic on the on the back and mesh in the front here. Um, you can put your surf perch in it. You can also put crab in it. And uh, from time to time, I, I, I catch a crab out there, and you can bring it with you uh, in your creel. And um, then I I'm just using a ski coat only because it's it's cold today. This is an old ski coat. I don't mind getting it wet. I got my high end dry waders on um, that we're testing. And um, then I just use these hip packs and I keep my uh, pliers in here and um, some, some uh, extra weights. And then over here, I keep my bait. And so the bait that I'm using today is, um, I, got a, I got one pack of it here. I'll show you the, this is the gulp, gulp sandworms. And this is in camo. So this seems to be the ticket out here. I also use New Penny. There's a one called New Penny that's been pretty, that's been working pretty well. So this is a gulp sandworms. Um, I keep an extra pack in my hip pack here, but I keep them loose in here. I don't know if Tess, you can look inside. And I got some weights in there and my and my um, my loose bait right here. So it's, and sometimes I use sand shrimp and and worms. I've used night crawlers before. I've never had much luck with the night crawlers. Um, and uh, so that's that's basically the gear I have. I have a GoPro on, uh, so hopefully I can get some footage of uh, reeling in a fish for you guys. But um, if you have any questions, let me know and please hit like and subscribe. Thanks. Putting some more bait on because I got a. Uh, there's a lot of Dungeness crabs out here that are just small females right now, and, and um, so. One got a hold of my hook and I'm putting some more, more bait on. And I'll show you how I'm, I'm, I'm rigging the bait. I put it on so the hook comes right out the bottom here. I don't know if you can see that, but um, so that way it's the, 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 uh, the bait is sticking straight out. It's not, it's not underneath like this it's not curled up I don't know why the fish don't the fish tend not to not to bite it when it's curled up like this so I like to have the tail out and um, sometimes I get a short bite but mostly they suck it right in and um, but this is how I like to put it on I also use a, the, the uh, I also use the circle hooks the size 4 circle hooks in Gamagatsu so again I'll do a rigging video later but um but this is how I, I put the bait on the hook. Okay, I got a fish on. And he's coming toward me. It's like a hard time keeping the line tight. If you can see him. There he is. It's a much bigger one than before. You can see that. Oh, we got fish. Oh. And then put him in the creel. Here, maybe pull the rod for a minute. a pretty decent size for this time of year. This has Velcro on it, so I just put him in head first. There we go. There we go. That was a pretty decent size perch. You can see it in the field here. Caught a Dungeness crab earlier and it was too small. So sometimes I can come back with perch and crab. You know, I really like this bag a lot. Um, I have another mesh bag. You can use a laundry bag. You can and, and probably get a laundry bag for cheaper, but this one is a little bit beefier and 
and um, doesn't blow around as much. So I'm gonna go out and play again, see if I can catch another one. Okay, we got a fish on. He's a pretty good size. He's a fighter. See if I can get him in. Come on, fish. It was a pretty good hit. But sometimes a really good hit, the fish are small. And sometimes they're really light hits, the fish are bigger. So we'll take a look here. Here he comes. That's a pretty good size. And he hit the top hook. I'm not sure if you can see him. So this is a red tail surf perch. I'll bring it up to the feet. This is a red tail surfer. Hey guys, as you can see, we already caught two. Two fish. Oh, another crab. We've been doing this quite a while today. I just haven't been filming them. But these crabs will steal your bait. I'm not sure if you can see that. Up, honey. Uh, I want to put my, my, my line in the oh, This is legal. It's not legal. Oh, it's legal if it's, if it's a legal crab. I got a good one on. This is a, if I can land this, this will be my third one. Found a spot here that is shallow then goes deep. Let's see if I can get him in. Now he's swimming toward me. So I gotta catch up with him. Oh, here he goes. Come on. Stay on. There he is. It's another bigger one. My wife wants to see and get a, get a video, so we're gonna do a video of videos. Here's another one. Here we go. I've had to put bait on multiple times because they've been stealing the bait. And I have these uh, Gamagatsu bait holder hooks. So I'm gonna put my... What I need is one of these uh, rod holders for when I'm alone so I can take the fish off without dunking my reel into the water. I really don't want to dunk the reel into the water. Um, there really isn't a good salt water reel unless you pay a lot of money for one. But, I always bring a good pair of pliers with you. All right guys, this is our third fish. Uh, got you bait. Holder hooks. So I put my what I need is one of these uh, rod holders for when I'm alone so I can take the fish off without dunking my reel into the water. I really don't want to dunk the reel into the water. Um, there really isn't a good salt water reel unless you pay a lot of money for one. Pair of 
we got three fish. My so husband is so lucky today. The tide has just turned. We have an incoming tide coming in right now. Um, I caught the first fish on an outgoing tide right at the right before the tide turned. But we have the tide coming in now, and I got two more on. I've had a lot of crab. Uh, crab really really like these sandworms. Um, I might use these as crab bait later on. I don't know. Uh, and um, so far, I've caught. We got three in the creel and I've had multiple hits and I've been losing my I've been losing baits mostly the crab I lost one to a surf perch or some kind of fish um, so I always bring a lot of it wow guys this is big so this is the biggest one so far look at that look at the size of that fish this is our fourth one We caught four fish already, and they're huge. Look at that. Chew it, honey. They're the four. Creel. Wow. So this is another reason why I like this fish field creel. Is I can put a mess of fish in here and um, keep it, you know, around my around my neck, my shoulder, kind of like carrying a satchel. And uh, it makes it easy when you're alone. You don't have to walk back to a boat. Hey, if this video was helpful for you uh, to catch surf perch, please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. And uh, put your comments into the comment section. I'd love to hear your ways of rigging or any, any uh, experiences that you've had. Today we're fishing out here at Seaside. And it's, uh, it's late May. Uh, so the fish are biting today. We came in on the uh, the tide change. So it was an outgoing tide, and then now the tide's coming in, and we seem to be getting some more action. So uh, again, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the water. Hey, we're back. Uh, I wanted to give a review of these waders. These are the high and dry waders. Um, the performance overall was really, really good. Uh, they did not leak had no leaks in them, which is good for new waders. I'll give a, uh, probably a 60 day review uh, at the end of the summer about these waders and, and uh, hopefully they're not gonna leak. But um, uh, I had no problems with them so far today. There's, um, uh, these are neoprene waders and they come with the boots. The boots are um, very warm and I did not need multiple pairs of socks uh, with these boots. They're very, um, uh, there's plenty of room though if you want to put uh, socks on or extra socks on. The only issue I had with these waders is the range of motion. I could probably scoot, scoot down about this far. I can do this. I love this mesh on the knees. That makes it real easy. Um, but it's a uh, the range of motion could be a little bit down in these like this but it's a it's a little bit har harder i can't if i had a little bit more room of course i'm six foot two i have long legs so um the uh when i chose these waders i i worked with the uh there was a nice lady on on the high and dry facebook page that helped me pick the right ones because there's large there's tall there's a large tall um, my shoe size was 10 and a half I believe these are the 11s because I got the 11s because I, in case I want to put extra socks on I'm glad I got the larger shoe size um, but uh, the overall though I think these are gonna be really good waders for uh, surf fishing the range of motion is livable it's not a deal breaker uh, for me and I have that issue with all the waders uh, because my legs are are longer than, than my than my torso, so I'm kind of disproportioned. But I think overall I'm going to be very happy with these waders. There's um, I got a pocket here for um, your wallet or your cell phone or something like that, which I don't I don't bring along anyway. So, but that that really is there's. 
kind of a hand thing here. You put your, and then there's a mesh pocket also. And it comes with the belt. I always recommend wearing the belt in case uh, you do fall and, and water gets in, the belt will prevent some water from getting down into your waders. But I think I'm gonna be happy with these. So uh, if you have any questions about the high and dry waders, uh, don't hesitate to get on the Facebook page uh, with High and Dry. They'll, they will walk you through how to choose these. Um, and on their website, uh, we'll, put on, we'll, we'll put their website on our, on our uh, video. And then um, if you have any questions for me, I'd be happy to answer any questions. Uh, please like and subscribe and tell a friend. See you on the water. Let's see, we got four fish. I'm just going to put a little bit of cut on this fish before I fry it. So this is the fish we cut today on the seaside. We cut four fish today from the seaside guys. So I'm going to cook Hi guys, as you can see, my husband loved the fish, he ate it all.